Hi, topic of the session is for slide auto suggest and e-commerce source that we are using at Go Mechanic using ready search. Agenda of the session is introduction about Go Mechanic, how and why we have implemented auto suggestion and e-commerce search, performance and inbuilt functionalities of ready search, outcomes, desired search result and expected search result that user is looking for natural language processing to enhance personalized source that will be taking in our next step and key takeaway point is sync only required data and clean data hi i am nagel kumar senior engineering manager at go mechanic i love to solve real world problem with rational thinking and applied science and technology i am an IT daily graduate, worked in supply chain warehousing and e-commerce vertical. Currently heading site reliability engineering at Go Mechanic. Go Mechanic India. Go Mechanic is India's largest network of technology enabled car service centers, offering a seamless experience for car service repairs, cleaning, and spare parts accessories across the subcontinent. We are operating in more than 26 cities and working with more than 500 unauthorized workshops. So daily stats for the order and leads are, we are fulfilling more than 800 retail orders. We are generating more than 300 leads. We are fulfilling more than 700 spares order and more than 700 accessories order. So the problem statement for the auto suggestion why we have implemented auto suggestion and e-commerce search in our spares product so we needed a fast and accurate search for our spare parts catalog page that holds more than 10 million items which requires an auto suggestion features to provide a better search experience to our customers what it does it helps in refining user source term and provide desired search results that users are expecting for and what we needed additionally are fuzzy search and spell check that we have to handle why because in most of the cases users do commit spell mistakes and they are looking for certain products that actually the terminology and the naming convention that they are not aware of for example in our case we are providing them spare parts of multiple brands and models of the car for example some users are not aware of the exact terminology exact category exact brand exact model so what they can do they can actually type some related or synonym synonyms word and our source should be capable to handle those queries and what we did in most of the cases earlier since we implemented a very uh, simple search there it was showing uh, no result found and which which is very annoying for the users when he lands on your page probably he will be spending 5 to 10 minutes and le le less than that probably 5 to 10 seconds right and he will be expecting a good result a relevant result and if you are not providing them the re relevant result probably they'll they'll go back and look for the another site right so how how we have implemented uh, our suggestion we we created two indices on ready search first one was for auto suggestion and another for product listing and we tagged tokenized result for product search and e-commerce search so here is we we will really showcasing the example of e-commerce search that we have implemented so for example a user search for air filter bmw or bmw air filter what we did we went ahead and started matching these terms in our index so we mapped with the bmw that's brand and air filter is basically category so th this this got a very relevant uh, mapping and so these two terms are tagged and the next step in this search flow is boss what's your, your model model name so you are looking for all right so here is a listing listing of the brands uh, model name 
so user can select the brand name and then will be redirecting them to the product listing For, uh, on product listing user can basically narrow down or broaden basis the user uh, base basis the filter queries and user can get the relevant searches and as we know the performance is key to solve the search problem redis does is does it with the ease and next slide suras will be explaining about the performance of redis search over elastic search he is is uh, one of my uh, colleague and he will be explaining about the performance suras please go ahead with it hi everyone uh, let me give you uh, my short introduction my name is suras i am a senior software developer at go mechanic so let's come to the this slide so in this slide we will talk about the performance and benchmarking of ready search and we also talk about that uh, why we replace our existing search with uh, ready search so earlier we used elastic search and it was good actually it was awesome uh, it performed very well uh, it fulfills our requirements uh, but uh, the problem was with uh, go mechanic data set uh, because the growth rate of go mechanic data set was quite high so very soon we started experiencing a uh, slow results so thus we started looking new search engines and we found ready search so but before using ready search in our projects we wanted to perform our own benchmarking so in order to do this we used 1 million of data set and the average size of uh, data uh, document was around uh, 251 bytes and if you talk about the conclusion and in this conclusion uh, if you talk about the indexing the uh, ready search was performed uh, really awesome uh, because uh, indexing in ready search was uh, 51 around yeah 51% higher than greater than elastic search and if you talk about the searches we includes 100 search and in this searches terms we also include some false terms uh, so the average uh, search response was around uh, 3.7% higher than elastic search Uh, which was really awesome, and there are also some other features of Redis Search that we also like. Uh, uh, for example, in Redis Search, we have more control over the indexing and uh, uh, and the querying and schemas, and the other features like facetated search and phonetic matching and spell checks and like uh, auto suggest also was there. uh we like this feature and we also use this features and that's all that's all from my side uh in this next steps uh nagin will explain you that's what kinds of our uh, next step we are going to take in redisers which make redisers more powerful at go mechanic thank you so we we are going to take this next step in our uh, current uh, products that will be cleaning user history data for model training which will be in turn used in a natural language processing model for search term recommendation so why we are going ahead with a uh, natural language processing is that this will give a very relevant search to users for example they are looking for a particular model with particular uh, category with with a particular features that they are looking for for example and 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 those uh, term will be bifurcated and added to the filters of product listing so user can get a very relevant search on very top of their uh, search results which will make basically instant which will give the instant gratification to the user so they can actually go ahead uh, in order to buy those products why because they are looking looking the exact products what what they actually wanted and then and the another step is to make search feedback driven how we are going to make the search feedback driven will be considering user search terms and we'll be using those search term into our feedback to make our system more robust and to have more control on search results so for example in starting our search results were not performing so well because we were not using any extra capability that ready search has and that we can simply use by adding another index to keep the user search terms and we can later clean those data and use in our models 
and key learning and take away from these uh, products from our products would be always keep very specific data on ready search why because the size is always a concern and if you are going to keep very uh, not not relevant data definitely some of the results that you are not expected can can actually come up in your auto suggestion or search results always have a habit to tune weight of a fields and clean data avoid duplicacy and always consider user term for feedback as already we have covered this part and always choose larger asset to perform benchmarking and if you can optimize for single character search you don't have to worry for the rest why why this actually a very relevant in our products that the single character can match to many documents and if single character matches to many document probably you won't be able to get the very relevant result so in order to get the res relevant result definitely you have to have a more than 3 to 4 character in in order to get more character probably what you can do you you can uh, start with as and gram search and give them a very uh, top result for example top 10 result top 20 result that will give a kind of satisfaction that okay okay we are getting some some result on your on on this this site so user can can get hooked with can can get hooked with your site thank you